this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have a very special treat for you. I always get a customer who writes in, John, how does X juicer uh, juice ginger? Uh, I don't know why ginger is so popular. Maybe it's uh, people into herbalism or all kinds of other things. Um, you know, ginger is definitely good to eat. I don't know that I'd be juicing a lot of ginger. Most people tend to put, you know, just a small little nub. Like if you put that much ginger in your juice, you're going to get a resounding ginger flavor in your juice. So. You know, I don't know why anybody would want to juice more than this much ginger, but you know what? Today on the Discount Juicer Show, we're going to have fun because we're going to have the ginger torture test. Um, we're going to use the Omega 8006 Nutrition Center, the Omega Vert 350 HD, your heavy duty model, and the Omega Big Mouth Juicer BMJ 330. And we're going to juice just this whole pile of ginger and we're going to see what juicer bogs down, what juicer doesn't bog down, and what juicer juices ginger the best. So uh, that being said, there's many different things you could juice in the world. Uh, ginger is just one of them. Ginger tends to be a hard, fibrous kind of root vegetable. You know, a lot, kind of similar with carrots, but it's a lot more fibrous. So it can be difficult for some juicers to uh, juice, especially juicers that are underpowered. All these juicers have been engineered to, uh, you know, work really well. They're all backed up by long warranties. So that's the other thing I want to encourage everybody to buy a juicer with a long warranty so there's no need to buy an extended warranty. This juicer here has a 10 year warranty. This juicer, the uh, Omega VRT 350HD has a 10 year warranty and this juicer over here has a 15 year warranty on the Omega um, 8006 Nutrition Center. So wow, I can just smell that ginger, I just broke that piece off. So without further ado, let's get into our ginger torture test. First, we're gonna use the Omega Big Mouth Juicer and you know, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about each of these juicers and why they're a little bit different. I mean, people think juices are juicers are juicers. Well, hey, do you think a Volkswagen is the same as a Porsche? Well, no, they're totally different. Every juicer works a little bit differently. So this is called the centrifugal ejection style juicer. How this works is there's blades in the juicer that spin really fast, about 10,000 RPMs or revolutions per minute and with little blades. You can think of it like a grater when you're grating your carrots on top of a salad has little grating graters on there. It basically shreds up your produce and as it shreds it up, juice is flung out, comes out of the front and the pulp is flung out into the back of the machine. So that's how that one works. This next one here is called the Omega Vert 350 HD. This is actually a single auger style juicer. Has an auger that basically you put the produce in, it chops off little pieces at a time. It works it through this auger into smaller and smaller space where it literally just squeezes the juice out of the produce. And this is the vertical single auger. Over on this side, we have the horizontal single auger style juicer. So this has an auger and it doesn't accept as much of a piece at a time. So this juicer tends to juice faster. This auger juices faster than this auger over here. This uh, auger has been more forgiving, uh, you know, with juicing things like fruits and getting a better yield in my test than this guy over here. So each juicer has its pros and cons. Now let's see how each juicer does with juicing some ginger. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Omega Big Mouth 330 juicer on, and it's a little bit loud because it runs so fast, but that is also a benefit because you're done juicing really quickly. So let's go ahead and turn this on and start juicing. So here is this whole piece of ginger. Right in the machine, pushing it down. I'm feeling some resistance. You can hear the motor slow down. So we had to stop the test. We were bogging the motor down too much. Let's take a look inside the machine and actually let's see what was happening with that. Wow. So this is what happens if you try to juice a lot of ginger in the Omega Big Mouth juicer or actually for, for that matter any other centrifugal ejection juicer. This is what happens. 
what happens is the ginger just basically clogs up the little blades or the little shredders on there and uh, you know it, it basically clogs it up so that it was not no longer efficient at actually shredding up the ginger to get the juice separated from the pulp and then as you can see here on this screen this screen is just clogged up with the pulp now this pulp is dry but nonetheless the screen is clogged up so after juicing that much ginger you know the juicer was no longer efficient so if you want to juice a lot of ginger you know I can't recommend a centrifugal ejection style juicer that being said most people aren't going to juice this much ginger in one sitting you're going to juice you know just a small nub and if you put a small nub in the juicer when you're juicing carrots and parsley and cucumbers and celery you know it's not going to be a problem in the Omega Big Mouth juicer so next let's go ahead and juice ginger in the Omega Vert 350 HD juicer. Now the HD juicer or uh, Vert 350 HD is the heavy duty juicer. This is an improved model of the uh, Omega Vert 330 juicer. Uh, this model basically has an improved screen that's eight times stronger than the screen on the Omega Vert 330 juicer. So let's go ahead and do our ginger torture test. I'm gonna turn this machine on. I'm gonna take a small piece of ginger, put it in the machine. Very important when you're using Omega Vert juicer is to not overload the juicer. Don't just take a lot of ginger and cram it in there at once. You know, take one piece, drop it in, and you know, let the machine work at it and chew it up and do what it's going to do. Here's a nice long piece. We can't actually stick the whole thing in, but we're just going to break off pieces, drop one piece in at a time. When I'm looking down in there, you can actually see the auger going around and getting the ginger piece and just sucking it in the machine and as you can see the ginger juice is coming out and the uh, pulp is coming out man this stuff is really dry it's amazing so we're going to go ahead and take another piece drop it in the machine there as you can see the uh, pulp is continuing to come out the juice is still coming out we're going to drop some more ginger in there one piece at a time so if you are a regular juicer that juices lots of ginger, you know, please post down below. Let me know why people juice lots of ginger. I'm really curious. Uh, ginger for me is like something you should be, be used, uh, you know, in small amounts. It, it really can have an overpowering effect on your juice. So I don't recommend juicing this much normally. That's another piece. It's all pretty much worked through. Let's go ahead and add another knob of ginger through there. We're just breaking off pieces one piece at a time. Looks like the Omega Vert 350 HD model is doing an amazing job. It's very important to select the juicer that's going to do the best job at what you want to juice. So say you want to juice ginger, this juicer or the centrifugal, any centrifugal ejection style juicer wouldn't be the best juicer for that job. Maybe a single auger juicer would, especially like on something like leafy greens, for example. These two machines are going to do a lot better at juicing leafy greens than the Omega Big Mouth. The Big Mouth advantage is a wide, three inch wide feed chute, which is good for people that want to juice like lots of apples and carrots and want to be done juicing fast. We now have three cups of ginger juice that easy in the Omega Bird, taking our time, didn't clog up once, it's still going strong, I'm still feeding ginger in there, working real good. Man, and you know, I want to point out this pulp here. There is basically a pulp ejection plug that keeps the pulp in the machine so that the juice is fully extracted from this pulp. And man, this pulp is pretty much not quite as dry as sawdust, but almost as dry as sawdust. I mean, you can see it here. Look at that. I mean, it's like, it's literally like sawdust. Look at that. Man, that is amazing. It just took this ginger, extracted all the liquid and gave us pretty much ginger sawdust. Next, we're going to move on to the Omega 8006 Nutrition Center and see how it does with juicing straight up ginger. Let's turn this baby on. And uh, now the Omega 8006, one of the negatives is that it has a smaller feed chute. So this feed chute is about one and a half inches in diameter and it's a circle. So some of these pieces, like this piece, actually won't fit in the machine. It gets clogged up, so we're just going to have to break off little pieces at a time to feed it. And this may be a concern for you because if you want to juice faster, well, that's why the Omega Vert 350 HD is a better option than this machine here. You got to break up little small pieces. The other thing you can see is that this machine is not self-feeding. We're going to actually have to take a pusher 
and we're gonna push the ginger in the machine. So I just broke the pieces up to put it in there and it's not getting auto fed into the machine like in the Omega Vert 350 HD. It was much easier just to drop the pieces in and not have to worry about it. With this machine, you have to use the pusher to uh, you know put a little bit of pressure on it. I got one finger on there putting pressure down on the ginger to literally push it into the gear. And you know, that is one of the advantages of the Omega Vert 350 HD model. You know, it's just pretty much a little bit easier to use. Let's go ahead and uh, continue to put more ginger in there. Looks like that's working off, working all right. We're gonna take some knobs here of the ginger and put that into the Omega 8006 Nutrition Center and uh, continue to juice more ginger. Once again, we've got to use that pusher to push it in on the Omega 8006. So once again, you know, there's no such thing in my opinion as a best juicer, but there is a best juicer for you based on what you want to juice. So for example, if you want to juice ginger, we could see, um, you know, you could easily juice ginger without any incident in the Omega Vert 350 HD. If you're using the Omega 8006, it's definitely juicing ginger fine, but you know what, it's taking a little bit more time. I'm having a Make sure the pieces are cut up small so that they'll actually fit in the chute. And then I actually have to use the pusher to push that ginger into the chute to get it to juice. So uh, once again, break off a piece, put it inside. And you know what? Every juicer has its pros and cons. And that's one of the reasons why I make all these videos on YouTube. I have over, at this point, 150 videos on different juicers and equipment that allow you to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet so you can be healthier. And you know, all these videos help you to learn what juicer works better for what you want to do because everybody has a different need. So let's put another piece of ginger in the Omega 8006 Nutrition Center. And uh, you know, the 8006 is called the Nutrition Center. It's not just simply called a juicer and that's for a very important reason. Um, these two machines, by the way, are only juicers. This machine will allow you to do more than just juice in your kitchen. It'll allow you basically to extrude pasta if you want to eat pasta. You could take frozen bananas, put it through this machine with, what the, with a blank plate, and it'll allow you to make basically frozen banana sorbet. That's so delicious. So if you're trying to get off ice cream, eat less ice cream, and eating less fat, and eating less processed foods, and eating less things with sugar, fresh fruits are the way to go. And you could eat 100% bananas, maybe with some frozen strawberries mixed in. Through this machine, it'll make like a frozen yogurt type consistency. It is so delicious. This machine is also advertised as making things like nut butters. You can put roasted peanuts through here. It'll basically make your own peanut butter in your home, preservative free. Um, you can make your baby foods in it, so take carrots and it'll mush up all the foods in the baby food so your baby can eat it. It'll grind up your coffee beans. I have other videos on YouTube showing some of the alternative features of the Omega 8006 Nutrition Center. Aside from the little bit of uh, you know having to push down the uh, ginger into the juicer. This juicer gave us no problems juicing ginger. So if you want to juice straight ginger, you know, you want to use a single auger style machine. That's what we use today. We use the Omega Vert 350 HD and the Omega 8006 Nutrition Center. They both worked really well. Let's see how, how much we actually yielded on the Omega 8006 Nutrition Center. And you know what? I have to say that this ginger juice here is really fine and clear. There's virtually no pulp or any residue in there. We basically ended up making uh, probably about 10 ounces of ginger juice. And I can't say uh, with the ginger juice in, out of the Omega Vert uh, 350 HD, there does tend to be some pulp in there. So, you know, once again, if that's a factor, you might want to have a strainer underneath uh, cat to strain out the juice before it goes in the collection cup. Um, once again, the pulp is uh, excessively dry on the Omega Vert 350, so it looked like to be the most efficient. And then the pulp is not quite as dry on the Omega 8006. But you know what? Both these juicers did an excellent job at juicing ginger. Um, probably the best job that I've ever seen. And you know, so that being said, if you're going to juice ginger, get one of these two machines. Don't get a centrifugal ejection style juicer. But that being said, you know, most people are not going to juice this much ginger. If, if I drank this much ginger right here, I, I would be sick. And you know, you might be too, unless you're some kind of herbalist and do it all the time. Um, so once again, most people only juice a small little knob. I mean, a quarter of this size in with a whole glass of juice. And that'll give you enough ginger flavor to, you know, keep you happy. So uh, once again, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit discountjuicers.com slash YouTube 
for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.